Hello, Instagram. And, well, Facebook later. Instagram first. Oh, feels good to be here. It feels good to be on Instagram Live. Hi, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, Godzi369. Hello, Marie. Nia Lavert. Hi, Ray Chillin. Hi, Stephanie. Oh my gosh, I have not been able to get on Instagram. Oh, I um, haven't been able to do much of anything lately. I know it's been a long time. Hello, Long Island and New North Carolina, Tasmania. Hello, Marie. Hi, Shona. Anything about the Lion's Gate? No, not much about the Lion's Gate, but um, I just wanted to jump on and share about what's where, like what's, you know, what I've been experiencing. And I think the intention behind me jumping on is, um, there's a big part of me that likes sharing uh, what I'm experiencing because many times we can feel really alone. Um, we can find, you know, uh, that we feel isolated and strange and something's wrong with me and, um, you know, people can't relate or I'm doing, I'm, I'm in something that I, I can't seem to get out of or whatever it is. And many times, as we go through whatever this is, whatever you want to call it, evolution, awakening, transformation, shifting, hi Miley, it can feel really lonely. It can feel like you're losing your mind. It can feel like there's something not right. It can feel like, you know, um, You grasp, you know, for the external world to give you the answers. You grasp for somebody else to tell you what you're feeling or what you're experiencing or please help me through this, get me out of this. And one of the things that I have been experiencing more and more as of late is a very, very quiet stillness that I have not been expecting, that I did not necessarily ask for, um, and that has really been turning my life a little bit upside down. Thank you for the badge, Miley. Um, you know, it's really interesting because there is this evolution that's hu happening in the human, con in human consciousness and our ways of being in the world. Um, that's, that's the very simplified way of saying, what is this human evolution that we're going through? What is this shift in consciousness? It's truly just simply being in new ways. And we think we know what that means and we have no idea. And so what ends up happening for many of us is we find ourselves in these experiences in life or places in life where it feels very out of control. Um, it feels very lonely or isolating or confusing. Confusion's a big one right now. Um, we start realizing more and more that everything that we have been doing is just not working anymore. And you, I have found myself uh, being overstimulated by the external world right now. And it's very challenging for me because I love to show up and I love to share and I love to do videos and um, share what I'm going through. But even that feels like a lot right now for me. Um, 
And I know that we're all in different places, but there is a feeling of overstimulation right now on the planet that is amplified. And I encourage all of us to really pay attention to that because when we begin to, when we are moving into deeper states of awareness where the aperture starts to open, more light comes into your awareness, more light comes into your room. You can't, you can't ignore and deny any longer what's happening. You can't ignore and deny um, the very debilitating thoughts that you believe you are. You can't ignore and deny the relationships that aren't working. You can't ignore and deny the emotions that you have pushed down. In fact, they just keep arising. What are you going to do? You can't ignore or deny the fact that things that you have been doing in your life do not resonate in such an intense level now that like you can't do it. You just can't. You can't. Something is taking over within us that is us, that is beginning to lead us because we have this stubborn way of putting our feet down and saying, no, I know what's best. Um, hi, Phil. You don't, you know, it's like, no, I know what's best. I know how to do this. I know how this works. I know how to heal myself. I know how to fix my problems. No, you don't. The you that thinks you know how to fix everything is the part of you that has continued to perpetuate these cycles and these loops over and over and over. And most likely for most of us, it's something external. Something else is going to fix me or heal me. Something else out there is going to show me the way. And on one level, on one relative level, that is true. But on a deeper level, that's not true. And I think that's where it starts to become frightened, a little scary, is when you realize that all of the things that we have been doing in the external world is not changing or fixing it. And then it becomes, how loud is the circus going to get out there? Oh my God, a line 3.0 is next level. It's, it's done. Tomorrow's the last day, but it is next level. If anybody here is, has been on a line 3.0, um, what's it been like? Because it has been, I, I'm, I'm teaching. I'm not even teaching. I'm doing this practice, 21 days of just sitting in practice with so many of you all over the country or the world. And um, the practice of sitting in your own awareness, the practice of sitting in beingness, just watching. I'm telling you guys, listen, I've been in the spiritual community for years. I have been caught up in all of this for years. And this evolution in human consciousness is inevitably going to stop you in your tracks and you are going to stop giving a shit about the external stories as if that is what is most important. You will. Because the true evolution in human consciousness is recognizing your God essence, your wholeness, your oneness, your absolute perfection in every moment, right here, right now. Good luck on that one. It is not about all of these external stories that continue to pull you out of you. It's, it isn't. And for somebody that has taught all about the external stories, this is pretty humbling to start to realize that this beautiful physical world that we're in, there's so much amazing beautifulness in this world. Even the chaos is beautiful. 
the loud circus is beautiful. This is, this is a miracle what we're in. It is. Be more specific. Well, just go on YouTube and just watch all the videos that pop up on your feed to listen to. Everything right now is a story. Everything right now is stimulation. It's fine. It's beautiful. I think it was Allison that asked, that asked this question for more examples. It's, but what's going to start happening to us more and more is we're going to realize the stimulation and the, the loudness of the world, the, um, the divide, the, the arguments, the who's right, who's wrong, who's positive, who's negative, these, these things that we argue for uh, over and over and over again. Again, this is a beautiful part of the human experience, but I am telling you, it's going to become less and less relevant. It's gonna become just part of the movie that you're watching. It's gonna have less relevance for you in your life. And until then, it has a lot of relevance. You know, I'll go on my YouTube just to see like, if there's anything curious that I wanna watch. And when I watch any of the videos, you know, whatever it is, that pops up, whether it's this person or that person or this story or that story, it's, it's all um, a story that takes me somewhere. It's a story that takes me somewhere. And I either jump on that roller coaster ride with this person talking, I, or I sit as the one that's watching this, like, wow, look at this one, wow. Okay, holy shit, that is a massive story that's happening right now. You know, like two you know, UFC fighters and this person hasn't been fighting in a long time and this person is and all these people are watching and this person's got 20, 20 million subscribers and he's doing this and he's doing that and it's like, wow, okay, holy shit. Wow, that's a, that's a lot going on right there, right? Or somebody, some, you know, there's just, there's just, it's, being aware of what we are being inundated with. That, that, that's, that is what we want to just be aware of. It's, it's overload right now. You know, it's overload. It's in, it is in, it is, it, it is, it's like, I was saying this in my, um, in my Align class. It's like we're walking into a discotheque. Um, yeah, how many people are single on this live? Raise your hand. Not that that means anything, but you know, it's, it's a different world. And you will be pummeled into stillness over and over again. It's part of the process of awakening. And you may think that you've been in stillness, and I guarantee you, you will continue to be pummeled into stillness. This is not about going down rabbit holes. It's not about the, the right thing to eat and the wrong thing to eat. Um, it's not about whether, you know, the lion's gate is a positive thing or a negative thing. It's not about whether we ever see UFOs and aliens. It's not about, um, you know, the next good technology that's gonna heal our bodies. All these things are great. It's not about, you know, um, uh, whatever, whatever stories you wanna, you wanna talk about. It's, it's truly not about that. It, it, it is going to come back to you remembering that you're none of this. Over and over and over and over 10 million times in one day. That's the evolution of human consciousness. It's the cosmic joke. It's the cosmic joke. 
is that so you know we we are recognizing that everything that we have been doing our entire lives is running from what is has always been right here right here right now right now and 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 then right now and right now and everything else is distraction and story which is fun trauma thoughts emotions I can't teach about the things that I've been teaching about for the last six years. I can't do it anymore. I can't talk about higher self because it doesn't matter to me anymore. This has like really been a difficult transition for me. I can't talk about aliens because I don't really care anymore. It doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, I wrote a book, The Divine Design, which is all about how we got here, how the body was designed, how reptilians came in, how they came in, the 12th dimensional grid, the 5th dimensional grid, how Earth was designed. I wrote a freaking book. It took me four years. <laughs> and it's all true if it's something you want to choose to be as your truth. But beyond that, it doesn't matter. It truly doesn't matter. What matters is do you remember that you're God right here, right now? Do you remember that you're safe? Are you aware of all of your thoughts that are pulling you? Are you aware of the emotions that you continue to run from? Do you feel safe? Do you realize that you're perfection right here, right now? This isn't a woo woo thing, spiritual thing. This is just, do you realize you're perfect? Do you realize that you can be calm in any chaotic situation? That you can go through anything and be okay? You realize that's your divine nature? That that's the evolution in human consciousness? Not going down all the rabbit holes, although the rabbit holes are fun. It's always going to redirect you back to you. Everything's going to redirect you back to you. The evolution is going to pummel you back to you over and over. You can kick and scream. You can say you don't like it and that you don't want it and you can stay as busy as you want and as distracted as you want. But this evolution has you, it has me, it's taking us. We're on the waves, we're on the ride. Thank you for the badge, we're in it. And the only thing that I will ever share is what I'm experiencing. that is the only reason I'm on the planet is to bring myself back to who I've always been so that I can also remind humanity of how we do this and where we're going and who we've always been. And so I've been sitting here for a couple weeks like, shit. I don't feel like teaching what I have always taught for so long. Wow. <laughs> there is a massive shift in my awareness where it doesn't matter anymore. And that's a humbling place to be <laughs> for myself. I don't know if you've experienced this or if you're experiencing this, but as somebody that is, um, you know, that teaches things to people, I don't even really teach things to people, but as somebody that uses a social media platform to speak, you know, it's quite interesting when <laughs> everything that you were talking about no longer matters. It's, uh, it's an interesting place to be. It's, it's, 
And you know, I was, I'll share with you guys a story. I'm gonna share it tomorrow in Untangled, but I'll share with you quickly a story. Um, I was in a bathtub a couple of days ago. I don't know, five, six days ago. And I was sitting there and I like to be in the bath or in the shower because the water just feels so cleansing. You know, there's so much cleansing and clearing happening right now for you and I. Um, there's so much, there's so much weight being lifted off of us right now. Seriously, there's a lot of weight. Uh, things feel maybe very heavy, but there's a lot of, there's things that are lifting, clearing, clarity, clear, clarity. That's the, that's the word, right? And man, I just was sitting in my bathtub and I just felt the energy of Jesus coming in and not religious in any way, shape or form, but Jesus was a motherfucking badass. Um, apologize for cussing but he literally was a badass and um i felt his energy and he said what do you want lori what do you want i'm like what do i want yeah what do you want you know i'm having this conversation energetically telepathically right and uh i said honestly i want to be aligned with my spirit i want to be aligned and what I meant when I said that to myself, right, is I, I want to live my days right now where my mind and my body are aligned. So what I'm saying is aligned with what I'm feeling. And what I'm feeling is aligned with what I'm saying. And I'm not doing things out of uh, necessity because I need to do them for other people. I am not saying things just to say them so other people feel better or feel good or you know, everything that I am being in as often as I can is authentic. It's honest. It's real. It's, it's vulnerable. Um, and what I've noticed as I have been kind of committing to that alignment with spirit, with my spirit, is there's less and less I'm feeling called to do. <laughs> I'd love to hear if any of you guys are going through this, honestly, like, is anyone else in this boat with me? There's less and less that I'm feeling like doing. There's less anger that I'm actually feeling in the world. It's more just like, I'm just kind of floating in, in all of this more and more. Um, uh, you know, Life seems to kind of just be pretty damn good even though nothing's happening. And even though I feel alone or I feel lonely at times or, um, you know, there's not a pull for this place or that place. I don't feel like going here or going there. I don't really know what I'm doing. Um, something bigger than me that is me is kind of carrying me and yet I don't understand it. I don't really know what I'm doing or where I'm going but I know that something bigger is happening and there's this calmness. It's, I can't explain it. Yeah, you guys feel similar. Yeah, there's a flow state that's happening. There's a move that you're starting to move into. Um, this is the description that I've been using a lot. It's the ocean, right? So um, I keep seeing this vision of like um, being on the in the ocean and just floating now. You know, we're just floating. And you kind of look over at somebody else who's in the ocean with you and they're fucking drowning. They are like, I can't do this. Get me out of this. I can't get out of these thoughts. I don't like these emotions. Holy shit, another wave's coming. Oh my God, do you see what's coming? Holy shit, we're in this thing, in the, the, this portal, and we're supposed to be doing this and creating this. And oh my God, did you hear what the... Right, and this person over there is like fucking losing their shit. And you're looking at them, you're like, I know that. I've been there. I have so been there. I know what it feels like to think you're going to fucking drown. Girl, I so understand you but you do realize you could just chill and you float just you could just relax and the, the 
person's like, what do you mean I can just relax? Are you, have you lost your mind? Do you see the ocean, the turbulence? Do you see the waves? And you're like, yeah, I actually do. I'm floating in the waves with you, right there with you. In fact, sometimes it goes, water goes up my nose. Sometimes I get, I get pushed down into the ocean. But there is this ebb and flow that's going to start happening with you and I. And you're going to start looking out and realizing how for most of your life, you have been literally fighting this freaking ocean. We have been fighting against the world. We have been arguing the reality that we are in. Mind freaking blowing. Any time that you argue against a thought you're having, you're literally arguing against what is right here, right now. Anytime you argue against an emotion that you're feeling, you're arguing against reality. It's the most insane, stupid, un- absurd thing that we could possibly do. We are learning, you and I are learning how to be in this chaotic ocean, realizing we're not any of it. We're just, and yet we're all of it. We're not it and we're all of it. It's not here to destroy us. It's not here to kill us. It's not here to drown us. We are not here to effort against it. And yet we continue, we persist in arguing what is. I gotta get rid of this thought. Good luck. I gotta get rid of this emotion. Good luck. I gotta make sure that I'm safe. You are safe. Be aware of thought. Thought just is. Emotion just is. No, no, no. These things came from my trauma and I got to figure out my trauma. I got to look at my trauma. I got to see where it came from. I got to see who did it to me. I got to look at all the stories. And on one level, I get it. I get that. But what you start to realize is regardless of where the trauma came from, regardless of how many stories and how you want to define it, attachment styles, mechanisms, I don't give a shit. Label it every single label you want. At the end of the moment, at the end of the day, at the end of all of it, when you're finally done labeling everything and trying to figure everything out, What you will realize is that all you need to be is the watcher of it, the curious observer, questioning it, asking if it's truly true. Is it really true? Is this truly true? Is this actually true? What if it's not? What if it isn't? What if it all is a story? And what if behind all of the story is simply this beautiful expression of you that you can call God or spirit or whatever the freak you want to call it. That's simply reminding you that you are here to be in this, to look at the thoughts Choose another thought. Go ahead. But the thought that's arising is the thought that you need to see. It's the thought that you need to look at. It's the thought that you need to befriend and embrace. The emotion that you are so afraid to feel is the emotion that's arising The energy is coming up. It needs to just, it's saying, hello, can you see me? Hello, am I allowed here? Nope, denying, nope, resisting, pushing back, ignoring, changing, fixing. You're just in the ocean resisting what is. Is it nice to have a framework? Yes. We can argue all day long that the labels are important, the framework is important, the understanding is important, but I'm gonna tell you right now, from my own experience, what I've been shown by myself through me, what my experience has shown me, is that no matter where I go with the trauma, 
no matter where I go with the thoughts, no matter where I go with the emotions, it always comes back to right here, right now, being in whatever it is, even if it's extremely uncomfortable. If I can simply be in this without changing or fixing it first, I am beginning to understand how to be free in this world. And all of the ways that I have tried to figure out heartbreak and pain and abandonment, none of it takes away from the fact that I have to still just be in this. I have to acknowledge it. I have to feel it. I have to see it. It's truly that simple. And there's so many amazing things out there that can help you. Like so many amazing people and books and all kinds of stuff that can redirect you back in. But it's all about going, it's all about you coming back into this inner world that is loud and obnoxious and scary. Guess what? Most of us don't want to be in it because it's loud and obnoxious and difficult and uncomfortable a billion percent. It's, it's very uncomfortable. It's very difficult. That's why most humans don't awaken. We awaken only to a certain degree. And then it's like, that's enough. This is, this is taking me into too deep of a place. I'm done. I shouldn't be feeling this. I'm awakening. I'm evolving. I'm spiritual. I should be only in positivity, only in love. Why the freak am I getting worse? Why is it getting worse? I'm out. Check, checking out. I'm done. This is not working. This is not going the way I anticipated or I planned. In fact, it's a ton, shit ton worse than two years ago or a year ago or six months ago when I wasn't aware of the fact that I wasn't aware. In fact, unawareness is a pretty damn good state, right? Like uh, I'll choose unawareness. Awareness awakening is gonna take you to the depths of the depth. It's gonna take you to a death over and over again. It's gonna take you to emotional states that you continue to not wanna feel. It's teaching you that you can be in anything. Just don't identify with it. Don't attach to it. It's not you. Over and over and over and over again. You are literally reminding you that this entire world is an illusion. That you have never been any of it. Everything is story connected to thought, creating emotion that you think you are because you were born into a world that is programmed for duality and polarity. It's part of the system that works here. And the you that you have always been, which is this God essence, is just right here, right now with your breath, right here, right now with your breath. Breathe. That's God breathing through you. It's that simple. No, 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 Lori. No, no, no. You don't understand. No, I do understand. I'm in here with you. I'm in the ocean with you. I'm drowning with you. I'm in fear with you. And every moment of every day, I guarantee you, you are being shown exactly what you need to see to break free. You're breaking free from mind, which means that you're recognizing that in each moment, the thought can come and go, the emotion can come and go. But the, the only way that we can trust this is that you actually have to feel what you don't want to feel. There's no way around this, my friends. There's no way around this. 
The only way that you break free and you realize that you can actually be in the ocean and not drown is by recognizing that you're drowning. So when that person over there finally looks at me and says, holy shit, I believe this wave's gonna kill me. Yeah, you do. So if I don't believe that anymore, this wave isn't gonna kill me? No. The analogy is, I believe that all of these beliefs are who I am and I'm in charge of figuring out how to get out of these thoughts. I'm in charge of figuring out how to get out of these emotions. And the God that you are is saying, sweetheart, you've never been any of it. You're actually safe to just watch it. Huh? Yeah, it's incredible. Problem is, is that if you are identifying with the thoughts, so you think you're the thoughts, then you will absolutely need to change them. You'll want to change them. Makes sense. If you believe that you're the emotions, if you are judging the emotions, you will 1,000% want to change the emotions. 100%. What happens when you stop believing that you are the thought? which means that you start to watch the thought. I'm never going to get out of this, the thought. No, but it's true. It's still a thought. But it's happening right now. Correct. It's still a thought. What if you chose a different thought because there are an infinite amount of thoughts that you can grab, but I don't believe that thought yet. Exactly but you can still choose to perhaps grab it into your reality, pull it in. Thought arises. Are you grabbing it as absolute truth? Most likely you are. An emotion arises, most likely we're judging it. We're judging it. It's not a good emotion. I shouldn't be feeling this. I don't want to feel this. And then you sit for a second. You just pause. Just pause. Anxiety, pause. Panic, pause. Fear, pause. Just stop for a moment. Stress, pause. These are all caused by thought. The idea that you have to control your nervous system is going to keep you in a loop. It's the thought that's creating anything that's occurring in the nervous system. If you don't believe thought, you're as calm as a freaking cucumber. If you start to recognize that you're attaching to a thought, guess what's gonna happen? Anxiety. When you feel grief, right? You want to watch yourself in the grief. You want to allow the grief to be there. You wanna be in the grief. Give permission for the grief. So when I say pause, what I'm saying is don't ignore what's arising. Watch it. In this moment, in the right here, in the right now, if you pause without reacting, responding, ignoring, most likely you will start to recognize, one, how intense and how powerful, how potent the emotion is, takes over your body perhaps. But if you have the courage to just breathe it through or sit with it and allow it to move, it moves. Grief moves. Sadness moves. Confusion moves. Anger moves. Irritability moves. The reason it doesn't move that you are experiencing it over and over again, or I experience it for a long period of time, is because we're trying to figure out how to get rid of it.
this beautiful divine essence that you are underneath and behind everything knows that it doesn't need to get rid of anything because it's not it. Very difficult concept for us. It's not even a concept. It's our, it's our natural state of being. It's where we are moving in the evolution. It's, it, it's, it's what's going to happen in one year, in two years, in five years, in 10 years, in 20 years. More and more of us are going to recognize this because it's our natural state. Just practice. When you are in a moment in your day where you really don't want to be in it, you're judging it, it's uncomfortable, it's scary, it's creating anxiety or stress. Before you do anything with it, okay, and continue to get caught up in that record player, because that's what it does. Thought takes you, emotion takes you, and you're gone. You're on the wave, and you are in it, and you are like, fuck, I can't get out of this, I can't get out of this, I can't get out of this, I hate this, I need to go figure this out, I've got to get out, whatever that is suffering which is denying what is arguing with what is suffering is arguing with what is listen i get it but it, that's what it is so before you go and argue against what is can you pause for a moment can you just stop And is it possible, is it possible that before you try to figure it out, before you try to fix it, can you drop into seeing yourself in it? So imagine whatever metaphor you want, but I love the one that where you're looking at the other ones swimming and they're literally drowning in the same ocean with the same waves and you're just floating. This isn't easy in the beginning, especially if you have anxiety or stress or tons of fear or like big, big, big things that, are, that take over in your day. It's not easy to stop, to pause, to watch. But it's these tiny little baby steps. What if you tried? What if you, what if you just tried for a, a, one second? Just try. Humanity is going to start to realize more and more that we are innately designed to no longer run from anything that we're in. And the crazy thing is, is that in order to do that, you have to turn the lights on in the room and see everything that you're in. What do we do in the pause? So you pa just pause. You tell me what you do in the pause. Just pause. Do whatever you want to do in the pause. Just pause. The pause will show you. Hi, Michelle. Holy shoot. So crazy. Oh my gosh. Hello. Breathe, observe, watch, look at cars, look at your wall. A lot of us wake up in the morning with anxiety. A lot of us wake up. Here's another thing I want to share with you guys before I go. The, uh, one of the things that I've been telling my Align class um, is, okay, when you wake up in the morning, Run to the bathroom, wash your face with warm water. I love that, Yoga Joe guy. Here's the thing, you guys. When you wake up in the morning, just humor me and try this. Let me know if it works. Actually, don't let me, it, it, 
Forget about whether it works or doesn't work. Okay. When you wake up in the morning, say to yourself, I'm alive. I'm alive. First of all, see if you even remember to say, I'm alive. But start to, start to try to remember, which is insane that we don't realize we're alive. But try to say to yourself when you wake up in the morning, I'm alive. Watch your whole moment change. Because I guarantee you, most of us wake up with thoughts that are just like, there's, there's a lot of anxiety in the morning time. We open our eyes. We're back in the physical world. We're like, shit. And then it's just, it just starts. The moment your eyes open, it's loud and obnoxious. And it goes. The to-do list, the stress, the person you have to talk to, the things you didn't do yesterday, the, the dream that you had that created this and that. It's insane in the morning. Truly. I'm alive. Practice it. Simple little things. Just pause. No, but what are we supposed to do in the pause? Nothing. But I need steps. You don't actually need steps. God doesn't need steps. And you're God. Divinity doesn't need steps. It just is. No, 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 Lori. I need steps. I need the, 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 you do this and then you do this and then you do, no, you don't, my friend. You are more powerful than you're giving yourself credit for. You are way more powerful than you remember. You don't need steps. You need the now. That's it. You just need right here, right now. No, I don't, Lori. When I'm right here, right now, it's very chaotic. Pause. Just stop. Hmm? I'm, I don't understand. I need to do something. Nope, just stop. There's always something that we're trying to figure out to do. Our natural state is just being. Not easy. Trust me. Most of our moments are doing. It's okay. Baby steps. Baby steps. I'm alive. It reminds me of how much you don't want to be here. Well, just can you give can you give compassion to the Mimi that doesn't want to be here? Can you have compassion for that Mimi? No, because I don't want to be here. Can you see the one that doesn't want to be here? Can you see the one that wants to struggle and get out of the ocean? I get it. There are definitely days where, you know, there are definitely a lot of days, not a lot of days, but there are days, a handful of days where I'm like, I'm done. I can leave the planet now. And every time I say that, I then question that. Do I really want to leave? Would I not look down and say, damn, what an amazing opportunity this is. This is all an illusion. This is, this is the cosmic joke, is figuring out that you're none of this and that this is heaven on earth right now. Pretty sure it's not. I know, I know, I know, I know. But it is. And we are, we are clawing our way into this heaven on earth that's right here, right now. We are clawing. We are bloody and beat up and clothes are falling off and we've got bruises and you know our skin's falling off we're burnt i mean we are messy we're a mess we are messy so i get it but i promise you i promise you there is nowhere else you want to be in this universe of universes of oneness otherwise you'd be there 
If you were not supposed to be on this planet, you wouldn't be on this planet. So, pause throughout your day. And just remember you're in this evolutionary shift. You're in the ocean. How many times throughout your day can you float instead of fight against? How do you float? You just pause, you just breathe, you just stop for a minute. Literally, stop and stare. Tell me what happens when you just stop and stare. How long you can do this? How do you teach your, our children this? You just teach through your example, teach through your own awareness. Teach by you being the example, by you talking about your experiences, you talking about what you, you know, how like, the more that we can be authentic and vulnerable and raw with our children. the easier it will be for them to go through this. Yeah, stop and stare at a bird or a tree. I'm telling you, it's that, it, like literally stop and stare at your plant for a second. That's presence. And presence is the only thing that we have. It's the only thing that is. It's the only place <laughs> that's, that's real. And one more thing before I go. What would your advice be on witnessing the part wanting to end life when it's just so hard to do and hold on? Is there a part of you that can that can see the part that wants to end their life? Is there is there is there any tiny little part of you that can see you? So imagine that you're floating on the ocean and you're looking over at the other part of you that wants to go. Can you see the you that's in that state of suffering? Can you see you? Right? Can you see you? The only one that can get us through this is ourselves. So you've got you've got to you've got to be able to see you. Try. Try. Try to see you. Can you can you see the one that's 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 that wants out that's suffering? Visualize it if you can't actually feel into that visualize it right now visualize the part of you that's what that's sitting right over here that's swimming right over here can you see her or him look what is she saying what is she feeling what is she doing what is she feeling We are so, what happens when we want to end our lives is, or want to get off the planet is we're so identified with the pain. We're so identified with um, the, you know, difficulty of whatever you are in. And we don't see a way out. And we're, we're very, very identified with the experiences. And so, one of the ways that you can help yourself through it is to start to detach from the identification of that pain. One of the ways that I do it is that I, I try to see me separate from the one that's in that pain. That makes sense. All right, you guys. That's it. I just wanted to jump on. I don't know when I'll be doing more Instagram stuff, but just wanted to give you a quick little hello update. I love you guys. Thanks for being here. Be gentle with yourself. Pause if you can. Breathe. Tell yourself I'm alive. Don't forget what you're in. Question your thoughts. 
Recognize that you're in an ocean, bouncing in your natural divine state. Oh, also ps.com, don't forget that uh, <laughs> right here, right now, you're safe. Right here, right now, you're free. Right here, right now, you're okay. Right here, right now, there's calm. You don't need a portal. You don't need a lion's gate. You don't need, you know, you don't need anything. You just need you right here, right now over and over and over and over again. There is no portal that will ever open up enough to bring you back here because every portal or every, every whatever it is is making you believe that there's some sort of fix in this world that's going to uh, pull you out of what you're in. Nothing's going to pull you out of what you're in because what you're in is God. Right here, right now. You got to be here, 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 and then here, and then here, and then here. It's not for the faint of heart. It is a very courageous endeavor that you're on. takes a lot of courage. Okay. This will be saved. Thanks, you guys. Lots of love to you. Um, you can believe tomorrow is special. Every day, Shelly, is special. Every day is a portal. Every day Every day is a freaking insane, miraculous, energetic jolt of holy fuck. Every day right now. Friend of mine, I'll talk to you guys really quickly about the Lionsgate portal. Friend of mine, the other the day or two ago, she goes, you know, she was talking about the Lionsgate portal. And I haven't been really in much of what's going on with everything. But anyway, I said, bitch. Like every freaking day is, in, is intense. Every day is an opening. Every day you have choice of creating and manifesting. Every day you can pull out of whatever, wherever you want. Every day is the day. Every day is in, incredible. Every day is intense. It's all story. And sure, you can say, well, the stars are aligning here and there and the astrological shit, whatever you want to believe. But the most profound moment is recognizing right here, right now, you have an opportunity to break free. Every moment you're breaking free. It doesn't matter if there's a portal opening that someone says is opening. All you're doing when you continue to believe these things, which could or could not be happening, it doesn't even matter. What you're doing is you're moving yourself out of the now. You're pulling yourself out of the now. And the only way, that, the only place, Shelly, that you are most profound, most powerful, most manifesting, intending, create, whatever you want to say, is now, right now. It's right here. What are you thinking? What are you choosing? What are you feeling? That's it. it all right you guys the energies are always intense on this planet every day every day over and over and over and over and over it's all story
People don't like to hear that. But it is. You get to choose. Just ask yourself this question. What if, like, what, just pay attention to what, you, what, what, you're, what you're playing and that's all. You're incredible, Shelly. You don't need a Lionsgate portal. You're God right now. Who needs a Lionsgate portal when you're motherfucking God right now? <laughs> Sorry. Who needs it? Right now, with your breath, you are God. You are spirit. You are whatever. You are the most miraculous mother freaking thing. You are. You are. Right here. Okay. That's it. That's all I'm going to say. I can go on and on and on. I love you guys. Mwah.